Hello, good and wonderful people. It's Sage here, and I'm back with another banger today. I thought it was about that time that I show you guys a day in the life of a dry bulk pneumatic tanker driver at Quality Carriers. So, take you guys along with me. I have a delivery in Sayreville, New Jersey. It's like right next to the Raritan River. It's actually near Keysby, New Jersey, where uh, the Schneider Bulk facility is, where I used to, uh, you know, be at all the time when I took my 10 hour resets. Just thought that was interesting. So, I'm actually delivering. Um, some sort of like very heavy bulky material it's called high cal so i'm delivering that to this steel plant and yeah i already loaded the trailer the other day take you guys along with me to show you what it's like to actually be a local dry bulk driver at quality carrier so yeah let's go All right guys, I'm back. So I'm actually in my truck now. I apologize for the lighting. It's like 4.30 in the morning. I just turned the light off. Um, see if this helps. I don't think it really, well, it kind of makes some, somewhat of a difference, but yes, I'm back in my truck. I'm in a day cab. Just went on duty. I have my little trip sheet here. So quality carriers isn't fully uh, paperless. So we still have to fill out our uh, information using these uh, trip sheets. So yeah, this is actually how we get paid. So once we're finished with the workflow, at the end we have to scan our paperwork and submit it. And we have to make sure that everything is neat and legible. So, you know, they can able, they, they're able to process it and you know, we can get paid in a timely fashion. This is actually the bill of lading, this small little sheet right here. I already went to the shipper, like I said earlier. So I'm just heading to the consigning now. Yeah, I'll just check back in with you guys while I'm out on the road. So yeah, keep it locked. Well guys, I'm here, but I can't find the place. Uh, the GPS sent me to like a dead end. I don't even think I can turn in here, but this is where the GPS sent me to. And I'm pretty sure this is a no truck road. So I don't think I can definitely go in there. And I doubt that they even put a number on this work assignment. Let me see. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about a phone number at the place. It does not say anything at all. This is Crossman Road, and it's saying make a right on Crossman Road. Well, I made a left, so I'm gonna have to U-turn some way. So I'm here now. I made a wrong turn. I was supposed to turn right, but I turned left. GPS, know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'll put it right here on the screen for you guys to see. I'm right here. My trainer told me that I have to be around right here near the blue. And I also put it right here for you guys to see. Yeah, I'm parked in the right place. So let me put on my PPE and check in all right yep you guys already know safety first safety always got to put the hard hat on face shield and uh grab my paperwork so i'll check back in with you you know i probably should have left at like midnight if i knew it was going to be something like this it's like i left at 4 30 and it's it's crazy because it's like you just cannot ever leave early enough to deal with all these traffic situations and i feel like that's one of the biggest things that sucks about local truck driving is just you just have to deal with so much and it feels like so much is just against you and it's like you want to get home at a certain time but it's like certain things are just out of your control delay you every single day i actually preloaded this trailer monday i'm delivering it today today's thursday i've been in training the past couple days but my trainer told me that a load like this can actually be done in a day. I don't see how. Yeah, he said you can do a load like this in 14 hours. It's very tight, but you can do it. And this, I think this is one of our highest paying loads too because of how long it is. But he did say it can be done in the day. I don't see how, especially considering the traffic. Unless you probably start at midnight. It's telling me to move up. So yeah, my trainer uh, definitely did mentally prepare me for this moment. I have to back in this tight spot. Well, I have to maneuver through here, if you can see it through my mirror, but I need to get my truck, it's focusing, where that caution sign is, 
Maybe I can zoom in it when I'm editing it, but that's where my truck needs to be because that's where the silos are. You see those like big white tall buildings? That's where I need to get my truck. So it's gonna be a challenge backing up, but hey, it wouldn't be local trucking without tight backing. You know what I mean? So it looks like he's actually gonna move that car out of the way, but I may not need him to. Well guys, it took me 14 minutes to successfully park in the spot. Got here at 9.04, it's 9.53, so about an hour of me being here, that's when I will start unloading. I can't find my pen, so I can't really write down my times. But hey, let me just uh, hurry up and, well, let me not say hurry up, let me uh, go ahead and get started with the unload. Good and wonderful people. I just got off the scale, got my paperwork. Okay, so this customer took forever in a day. Like I said, I don't know how you're able to do this load in one day because it literally just took two and a half hours for all this stuff to come off alone by itself. Not to mention, it only it took me an hour just to get back in, you know, do all the scale, house paperwork, all that, just to find the place. So maybe it'll be faster in the future. I don't know. Maybe it's just an experience thing. But yeah, uh, and then I got a three and a half hour drive back. You include traffic, closer to four hours. It is what it is. Now, tomorrow I'm heading to Wilmington, Delaware. Tomorrow's Friday, today is Thursday, the 19th if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, my plan was to actually edit this vlog tomorrow because I wanted tomorrow to be me taking my 34 hour reset. I work six days a week. Um, and the reason why I work that many days and the reason why I work that many days is because I am trying to get out of debt, essentially. So I'm using the extra income I work for my sixth day to pay off my student loans. I have about 17200 right now currently. My plan is to pay at least 255 a week, so about over $1,000 a month and hopefully get debt free by April 2026. That's what um, the loan simulator said. I'd be free of student loans by that date. Maybe if I am lucky, I get some bonuses along the way and I can pay it off faster. That's where I am. That's why I'm working that many days in a week. And I'm always tired because it's local work. You literally have like only a 10 hour reset most days and it's very draining, but you know, what can you really do you know what I mean but it is what it is uh, if I can make at least 1500 a week 1400 1500 a week even more that'd be great for me uh, I know somebody in the comment section in fact probably a few y'all are gonna one-up me and say that uh, oh you can make way more than that if you do this job if you do that job I make 1800 a week doing this doing that and you know they never have a profile picture it is what it is, but I have to scan this paperwork now. It's tedious. I'll end the vlog here. Uh, I'm just going to drive back post-trip, drive this trailer. You guys know what it's like to, you know, drop a trailer, hook up to a trailer. I'll end the video here. If you enjoy videos like this, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. I'm Taja Woods, and I'll see you next time.